Howdy. So I was having a conversation with my buddy Snoopy here about, well, mean people online. And it's interesting because I don't know that I ever thought that I would see a day where people were not only as mean as they turn out to be online, but as racist as they turn out to be online. And it's mainly people who hide behind fake names who say these things. And that irks me to no end because I can tell you the truth. Nobody, nobody says that kind of stuff to my face. No one ever has. Um, never. <laughs> now, it may be because, you know, I'm not a small guy, but, you know, I'm older now and I don't have as much stamina. I'm still a big guy. But you never expect that people will be so mean and nasty when they can hide and then try to be nice to your face otherwise. And it's one of those things that bothers me because, you know, I meet people all the time and I'm always wondering, are these the mean people who say these things online hiding behind fake names or are these really nice people? So I'm going to give you an example of what I'm talking about here. So there was a local news story talking about a 16-year-old kid at a high school who hit two teachers. Terrible story, right? Terrible story. These were the first comments that showed up on the site. And then it, you know, kind of got worse. But I'm just going to share a couple of them. The very first comment was, where is Sharpton? Where is Jesse J? Where are the leaders of Black Lives Matter? The next one was, that's the same school Barry visited a few years ago. Way to spread positive influence, Barry. What's the policy one free year of college for every teacher you punch? Two more kids and you get a free ride. And then the next one, where is the NAACP or local leaders? Nothing to gain on this. Now, here's the thing. These people have automatically assumed that the 16-year-old is black. Now, it's a city school in, in, in the Syracuse area, and 40% of the school is black. 66% of the school is minority. But that basically says that you got 60% that's not black. Why is the assumption automatically that it's a black student? No one has said what this student is, but they're already assuming it is. So here's a couple other things. Time to trade the Obama phone for the new Obama internet so he can attend school online. Then someone else said, but they keep telling us blacks are disproportionately disciplined compared to whites. And then someone else wrote, you know, after someone else said kind of what I did, why are you assuming it's black kid? You guys really don't think this kid is black? Wake up now. Really? So this is, this is what we've come to. Anytime you hear bad news and stuff, it automatically has to be a black kid just because the school is 40% black. Have you people been really paying attention to the news lately? Who commits most of the crime? White people. Who are most of the people who are on welfare? White people. <laughs> I mean, you know, let's just call it what it is. Most of the people in jail, believe it or not, are not necessarily black. The highest percentage of population happen to be black, but that's not the overwhelming majority. Not in this country. Let's face the fact here. There are areas of the country where almost everybody in prison is white because there's no black people who live in the area. So stop saying that everyone is black. But we really have gotten to a place where we have become a mean and racist society. And I, you know, really don't like it. I hate when people hide behind fake names in order to say this vile stuff. But we see this all the time. I'm not surprised by it, but I'm definitely disappointed by it. I mentioned a few videos ago about how I was in the newspaper story and how all these people hiding behind their fake names were saying all this nasty stuff. Now, here's the other side of that. Facebook. You can't use a fake name. But I'm amazed how many nasty things that people will say about President Obama without worrying that they look racist and sound racist. It's just amazing stuff. You know, people, you want, you know, you want to take your country back? Well, let's talk about your country back. Your country back was not a nice place. It was a nice place for 
white people, but it wasn't a nice place for black people, wasn't a nice place for Asian people, wasn't a nice place for Native Americans. We don't want that country back. As a matter of fact, the country's not really progressing all that much, so I don't know what you're griping about. If you want to gripe about something, let's gripe about the fact that we have a Congress that can't get anything done because everybody wants everything exactly the way they want it, and they don't care what that person has to say about it. Whatever happened to the art of negotiation? You know, you don't go into any business in this country and see everybody agreeing on act, on, on everything being the exact same. That's not how business works. Business better have someone who's looking at things a different way and says, hey, maybe we should, you know, do this or that, or maybe we should market it this way or that way. You know, it's diversity of ideas that creates things. Even Steve Jobs had to realize that he couldn't do everything on his own. That's where all those people came from. Yes, he had the strong personality and he had his idea and his way that he wanted things to be done. But he also had to rely on these other people to handle a lot of things. Steve Jobs didn't know anything about marketing. <laughs> Steve Jobs certainly wasn't down in any of the factories putting any of that mess together. It was other people who were doing that. It was other people who were testing. It was other people who came up with the idea of let's use this material over this material, you know, and such. If Steve Jobs had basically gotten away with everything he probably wanted in the exact same vision, the company probably would have failed way back when, and there wouldn't even be this pretense that Apple was all that. I'm just saying. So, you know, I did a video a long time ago that I'll probably loop to here, talking about how can we can't be nice? What is wrong with being nice? Someone please explain that to me, because I don't get it. And yes, I'm going to go there. For all these people who are supposedly Christian, who talk about God this and God that and whatever, y'all are some mean so-and-sos, very hateful people. You need to knock it off. I mean, your religion is supposed to be about love. You're the same people who are screaming at the purveyors of Islam, talking about how evil they are and all this kind of stuff in their religion. I'm sorry. You know what? More people have been killed by Christians than anybody else. Call it what you want to. That's the truth. Call it Christian, Catholicism, Protestant, name it. Y'all have killed a whole lot of people. You basically decimated most of Africa in the name of God. For slavery, just just call it call it what it is. You know, you used the religion to justify slavery. Really? So in essence, you're saying it was good, even though you supported Moses and and you know said you know that was terrible what happened, but it did happen. So this gives us the right to keep slaves. No, no. You know, I have spent most of my life trying to be nice to people until they prove they don't deserve it. I still stick by that. I mean, I hold doors open for everybody. I'm courteous to everybody that I meet. I can talk to anyone. I can talk to the president of a company, and I can talk to the person who's cleaning the toilet. You know what? They're all important in every single business. They just are. When I go to the grocery store, I talk to everybody. Okay, if I'm in the mood to talk. <laughs> I'm not always in the mood to talk, but if someone talks to me, I'll talk to anybody. I will talk to the little kids, and I will talk to the older people. I will talk to anybody because everybody counts. If I go to a hotel and someone wants to take my bags, well, a lot of times I feel uncomfortable with that, but you know what? That's their job because they're hoping to get a tip, so I do that, and I will talk to those people. I talked to people when I was working down in Memphis. I talk to the people in maintenance. I talk to the people in housekeeping. I talk to the people behind the desk. I talk to the people who are cooking the food. I talk to everybody. People are people. People are supposed to be people. I even talk to homeless people. You know what? I took one guy to dinner, kind of. Uh, he asked me for money. I said, "Do you are you looking to eat? He says, yeah, I'm hungry. So come with me. And I took him into a restaurant and bought him food. I didn't sit with him because I had already eaten, so I was leaving. So I took him in, said, order anything you want on the menu. It's on me. And he ordered his stuff. Made sure he ordered a large coat. <laughs> you know, go for it. And I paid for that because that's being nice. Ain't being Christian. It's not being a good, what do you call it, M Muslim or whatever, because I ain't none of that stuff. I don't believe in religion. What I believe in is nice. I believe that you treat people nice. We need to stop being mean. You need to stop being racist. You need to stop being misogynist. You need to stop being bad.
That's what me and Snoopy believe. Y'all tell me what you believe. Really? Just tell me what you believe. I, I, I doubt there's going to be anyone who believes that the world needs to be bad. There's going to be some people who are going to say, well, the world is just bad and we have to live with it. No, we don't. We really don't have to. That's why I'm here fussing about it. Y'all let me know what you think. And I, I guess I'm supposed to remember to t ask you people if you like it to subscribe and share it with other people. Share it on Twitter. Share it on Facebook. Share whatever. I'm supposed to ask you that. I never remember to do that. I may need to write that down one of these days, but at least I did it today. Y'all take care. And if you don't know who I am, go look at that intro video and you'll find out my name. Or go look at the Monday video because the video on Monday, I told you my name. Y'all take care. Goodbye.